Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer practice lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. In this lab, we will once again configure NTP, Network Time Protocol. Unlike last lab, however, we will also configure authentication to ensure that our routers R2 and R3 only sync to a trusted time source, R1. First, we will once again configure the time zone and time on R1. Enable. I'll set the time to 9 p.m. JST again, like the previous lab. Remember, the clock set command we are going to use sets the time in UTC. My time zone is nine hours ahead of UTC, so I have to set the time to nine hours behind what I actually want the time to be. Clock set 12 o'clock, August 22nd, 2019. Now let's set the time zone. Conf T, clock time zone JST9. Now let's configure NTP. First, I'll configure it as an NTP server with a default stratum level, which is eight. NTP master. Now let's set up NTP authentication. The first command is NTP authenticate. Now we have to set up two keys one for R2 and one for R3. We could actually use a single key for both routers, but the instructions say to use two. To make a key, we use this command, NTP authentication key, followed by the key number one, MD5, then the key string, Cisco one. Now let's create key number two as well. NTP authentication key, two, MD5, Cisco two. We're not done yet, however. Let's configure these as trusted keys. NTP trusted key one, NTP trusted key two. Okay, we have completed the configuration on R1. Now let's set up R2. Enable, conf T, clock time zone JST9. Remember, NTP doesn't sync the time zone, so we still have to configure which time zone we want to display the time in. Now let's set up NTP authentication and then set R1 as the server. NTP authenticate. NTP authentication key, one, MD5, Cisco one. NTP trusted key one. Now to set R1 as the server, we have to add something to the command we used in the previous lab. NTP server 192.168.12.1 key one. We add key followed by the key number to the end of the command. As I mentioned in the previous lab, NTP can take some time to synchronize. I'm going to configure R3 first before we check on R2. Then I'll cut the video and wait for everything to synchronize. Enable conf t clock time zone JST9 NTP authenticate NTP authentication 2 MD5 Cisco 2 NTP trusted key 2 NTP server 192.168.13.1 key 2. Now that the configuration is complete, I'll cut the video and wait for the time to synchronize. Okay, we're back. Let's check if everything is good on R2. Show clock detail. Time source is NTP, looks good. Show NTP associations. We are synced to R1, 192.168.12.1. Its reference clock is a loopback address on R1, 127.127.1.1, and its stratum level is eight. Note the asterisk and the tilde on the left. The tilde indicates that this association has been configured, 
and the asterisk essentially means that we're synced to the peer. Now let's check on R3. Show clock detail. Again, time source is NTP. Show NTP associations. Our server is R1 at 192.168.13.1. And again, notice the asterisk and tilde on the left. We have successfully synchronized the time with NTP. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, please consider contributing to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeremy's IT Lab. I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave verified publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.